Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this crunchy cauliflower brain snack with bloody gochujang sauce. And guess what? It's actually a healthy snack to serve at your Halloween party, as well as any party. This gochujang bloody sauce is highly addictive. It is garlicky, spicy, tangy, with just a little bit of sweetness. Oh, it is Bloody good! 오늘의 레시피 맛있는 할로윈 간식 만들기 오늘도 여러분들과 영구로 함께 하겠습니다 <웃음> 나는 아침마 계시리다 참 배고프다 <웃음> What did she just say? She's a Korean housewife goblin and she's hangry She needs a snack pronto Oh what? Korean goblins like to eat healthy too. Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper's Halloween Special. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다. Okay, so first we're gonna start with making our garlicky gochujang blood sauce. Here I have two tablespoons of gochujang, that's Korean red pepper paste. And to this we're gonna add two tablespoons of water. One, two. And we're gonna add one tablespoon of brown sugar. And we're gonna add one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. If you don't have balsamic vinegar, use any white distilled vinegar. And then we're gonna add two teaspoons of smoked paprika. One, two. And to this, we're gonna add one clove of garlic, freshly grated on your fine microplane, and then turn it over and make sure to scrape in the garlic on the back. And then we're just gonna mix everything up. So this is the same exact gochujang sauce that we made for our grilled corn and grilled romaine lettuce recipe. It is so, so yummy. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out and I'll have the link in the description box below. Just mix it well. Oh, it smells so good already. All right, so let's go in for a quick taste test. Ooh, look at that. Can I say it's bloody damn good? <laughs> what can I say? I'm kind of corny. Oh, it's hitting all the notes. Garlicky, spicy, slightly sweet, tangy, and the flavors, it's just, just growing in my mouth. I put this on everything. Okay, so we need a head of cauliflower. Make sure to cut the bottom off so it is fleshed against the bottom of the cauliflower down here. Get a small bowl where you could place the cauliflower upside down because this is our kind of working stable tool that this uh, bowl is going to be for us. And from here, we're just going to go in and cut around the root. So cut around it so that we could take this part out. But this, don't throw it away. Just keep it here on the side. And from here, we're just going to kind of cut up the pieces at the root end of it. What I mean is right here, these are thick, so you just wanna cut it down the middle at the base. Same here. And just do that until kind of everything is cut up. I mean, we do wanna make sure that this is edible and our guests could actually enjoy it. Now, if you have not met my twin sister, Chonyo Gishin, as you can see right here, make sure to check her out because she'll tell you the legendary story behind Chonyo Kishin, which is your female version goblin. Jeonseol Goyang is our childhood show that so many of us grew up watching, being completely scared, but so good. <laughs> anyway, that video also includes how to make an edible cemetery using choco pie, which is Korean boom pies. So I will see you there if you did not see that video yet. And then I have a tub of hummus. So just take a big dollop of it and put it right here in the center. The reason for doing this is kind of to use the hummus as our glue so that our cauliflower pieces stay put together. And this is the root end that we cut off earlier. We're just gonna place it down here like that so that you know we are actually pressing our hummus glue in between all the crevices of 
our cauliflower. Take more of the hummus and put it on the bottom like that. Be very generous with it because this hummus that we're putting here at the bottom is gonna be the glue that makes it stand on our plate without kind of toppling over like that. And then we're gonna take our serving plate that we're gonna use to put our cauliflower brain and we're just gonna press it down like that so it sticks. And then use your other hand to hold up the bowl and then just flip it over. Let's see, voila, so that our brain cauliflower is now firmly affixed to our serving bowl. Now from here, take your hummus and just put it around the base of our cauliflower. So if you're asking how much of the hummus I'm using, this is a two pounder from Costco. So I'm using almost all of it. This could also be like a healthy snack that you could serve at any party. You could put some jicama sticks, carrot sticks, celery sticks around the cauliflower and just, you know, poke it in the hummus around it like that so that our hummus is completely surrounding our cauliflower like so. And here is our gochujang blood sauce that we made and we're just going to Simply just drizzle it over our cauliflower brain. I mean, this is it, it's so simple. And guess what? It's actually a healthy, low calorie Halloween recipe that you can make. And with your gloves on, you wanna just rub the gochujang on our cauliflower, like so. So now it looks like some gory, bloody brain, but it smells so good. <laughs> It smells wonderful! <laughs> Sorry, I just have to do that. And then continue putting the rest of the blood around the plate. And then I would also zigzag it like that. Here I have some props, eyeballs and little skull heads. Of course, we'll rinse them well, and these are not edible, but we're just gonna place them on our hummus like that. And maybe a skull here. <laughs> See, it's all coming together so that it looks like this. Now, when you're ready to serve this, go in with a knife and just make more cuts around it so your guests can easily pull out each of the cauliflower and Enjoy this delicious and healthy cauliflower gochujang snack. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some hummus and our bloody gochujang sauce. Happy Halloween! Mm. Who knew that raw cauliflower and gochujang would make a, such a good combination? This is a everyday snack I think you should have if you wanna have something healthy and yummy. So I wanna thank everyone for watching today and I wanna wish everyone a safe and fun Halloween. And if you enjoyed watching today's video, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would click on that thumbs up icon because that does wonders for my channel and I would totally appreciate your support. And subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼 눌러주세요. 구독 버튼도 눌러주시고요. 다음 비디오에서 뵙겠습니다. 그리고 좋은 할로윈 보내세요. All right, folks, I will see you in one of the videos you see right here.